All right, so I've kind of given up on the round pods, although I thought they were going to be the answer, and I had them work a couple times. They failed more than they worked. So now I've gone with my uh, number two cone filter for a regular coffee pot, and I've had to trim it down because obviously this is not a number two uh, coffee pot, so I've uh, trimmed it down to be exact. I'll show you the piece I've trimmed off the top. I've trimmed that much off the top of it. And, of course, I had to make the hole in the center bottom for my uh, percolator pot there to stick through. As you can see in there, it's sticking through. I added two more cups of, uh, I mean, sorry, two more teaspoons of coffee in there. Last time I had too much coffee in there, it percolated right over the top of the little bubble there. It went right down the center. It was a mess. Uh, we're going to try two teaspoons with the same amount of water that we've been putting in there. That's that line on the outer rim there. Um, we'll see how that works. This will be our um, third attempt tonight to get this to work, so we'll see where we go. Uh, you can see we've, uh, well, we didn't start with a full bottle of fuel. We've gone from here to here to do three attempts. And I've come down to a science here. It's taking exactly 10 minutes to come to a boil, and then I give it about 10 minutes to percolate. So I know exactly when it's going to come to a boil. And the nice thing is this stove uh, starts to burn out right at eight minutes. So what you can do is you can do a 10 minute boil, I mean an 8 minute boil, and right as you're filling it up there the second time, I mean the first time, you know it's going to boil the next time. So we're good to go. Now I want to show you a little close up of how this looks when you uh, fill it there. You see that kind of get glossy all around, and you just let it go, and what happens is, because of the way this is built, uh, it sucks back out the fuel on the very top half down to here, so you don't have a pool of fuel up here, just enough to keep it lit. Uh, this Again, this is uh, Tenny from MiniBullDesign.com, I think is what his website is. And he, he makes some awesome stoves, but this is my personal favorite. Uh, I've also done a review, or I should say uh, Mini Tenny has done a review from my house on the uh, choke hazard. So we're going to let this go for 10 minutes, and we'll get back to you. All right, we're running out of fuel here, and it's been percolating for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and blow her out. And about as soon as you blow it out, percolation stops. And the coffee level starts to slowly lower back down. Bring it down a little lower here so I can see what's going on. Pretty hot to touch. Bring it down a little lower here. I think that's in the screen. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to burn myself, so I'm going to do it, but. I'm going to let it run down a little bit before I take the uh, percolator out because there's still a lot of coffee just sitting in there slowly lowering down. You want to let that all drip down before you take it out, just like on any home coffee pot. You want to let it all drain down. And uh, When this is done, the uh, stove is pretty cool. You could almost put it away, give it about two, three minutes, and you could put the stove away. Um, I put mine in my percolator, so I have to clean out my percolator first. I'm touching this. It's not real hot. It's warm to the touch still. But I can go to the process of, uh, yeah, it's a little bit warmer than I thought. Go through the process of capping off my fuel here, getting that all closed up so there's no spillage. And I burnt my stove right out of fuel, so I know there's no fuel left in there. But if you didn't burn your fuel out, you just tip this up and then you get a little air back in here and just suck it right back out of there. So that's how you get your fuel out of there. I'm going to leave that aside because I always, like I said, put that in my uh, percolator here, which looks like it's all drained down now, so I'm going to take that out. I may get a little bit of drippage here. I'm kind of uh, rushing it a little bit. That just generally comes right out. I'm just let it drip there for a second. The cap's pretty tight, so it doesn't tend to pop off, but you got to be careful because it can pop off. So we'll let that drip off this side here and make a mess of my uh, tiles. And I'm going to go ahead and pour some in a glass to see how dark we got it in 10 minutes with two teaspoons and I'd say about 16 ounces of water. So I'm going to pour some in a little glass here, see how we look. Um, I wouldn't call that dark coffee. That's a pretty light, uh, pretty light cup of coffee. Uh, I got my hand over the light right now. I'm going to let the light from above shine down on it. That's a pretty light cup of coffee, I'd say, uh, as far as a coffee drinker goes. Um, it really needs three teaspoons for 16 ounces, I feel. I don't know. They say uh, one teaspoon for every 
uh, eight ounces of water, and I let it percolate for the full ten minutes. So I guess the real test would be the taste test here. And what I like to do is I like to use my cozy that I showed you earlier to place my coffee pot in. I just slide it down in there like this. I'm using a little uh, lip ring there to push on so I don't burn myself. And then I take my sippy cup that I showed you earlier and I just pop that right in there like that. I like to be careful because if it pops all the way down and it's hard to get out. I just drink it right out of here. Now this is pretty hot, so I gotta be careful. That's pretty hot, but it's got a good flavor to it. So, good coffee. Uh, thanks to Tenny from Mini Bull Design for the uh, stove, and thanks to NC Hiker 1970 for the idea with the sippy cup and the percolator. And um, I got the idea for the pot from Tenny, and I got the uh, cozy idea from, I think it was J.R. Bird had a cozy idea out of a windscreen from a car. I just did the fuel thing just for a little look, see, you know, kind of fun looking, gives it a cool look, kind of an alien pod looking thing when it's all closed up and back together. And yes, everything came out of here, everything will go back in there. Have a great day, as Tenny would say.